Hi, here in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can add multiple domains as well as subdomains into one store. So this is a Shopify store here. I will be giving you an example. So first step is to create subdomain or maybe domain. So let me show you how I did that. Click on settings. Here you can see we have domains, click on that and I have created domains as well as subdomains. So actually if you have uh, already purchased a domain server, so there you will have that uh, domain. You only have to add CNAME record as well as a record over there. So definitely once you are creating this, for example, I have created a new domain or subdomain. You should click on connect existing domain and here you should write domain name dot com for example and if you want a subdomain to register here you should write subdomain for example english en dot uh, domain name dot com so that's how you will create a subdomain once you clicking on next then you will be getting some c name record as well as a record so how you will be connecting that to your domain is you should go to your uh, domain server for example, here we have the Cloudflare. So you should click on add, add record and here you can see I have type. So we have type of record like A record, we have CNAME record, uh, we have all other records. For now we have, will have required only A record as well as CNAME record. All right, then after you should add the name and then you need to add the address and then click on save and that's how you will connect your uh, shopify store with the domain so that domain will be connected to the shopify now the next step is that how you can add multiple uh, domain and subdomain into your shopify store you should click on settings then after you should click on markets and here you can see that we have israel and we have international so actually uh, in this case i am going to connect two things first is in the main domain which is the primary domain so over there i will be using hebrew language and for the international like for example english i will be using en.domainname.com so currently you can see that the domain name is something like this here you can see this is the domain name and i am going to add the subdomain here so click on settings then after you should uh, click on markets and here you can see that for this i already selected primary and for international means uh, any other english language you should select and click on languages uh, languages and domains and here you will be getting manage domain click on use a separate domain or subdomain click on add existing domain and here you can select that specific subdomain i have already choosed en dot uh, domain name so this is actually the subdomain you should click on save so now i am interested to see if it is working or not so you can see that we have uh, this international market and i'm going to click on preview and now you can see that since my store is uh, password restrict uh, restricted so I'm going to remove this and you can see that URL is something like en.havel-eretz.co.il. So that means the subdomain is connected here. And if I will see my main primary domain, so that is here, you should click here and you should. So for domain, you can see main domain is here and subdomain is here like en.domain name. So how I will be customizing uh, both these things, you should close this here. And for example, I'm going to click on customize here on the top. You can see that we have default. We have the international. We have the Israel like uh, Hebrew. So if you will select international, that means all the uh, design will be for the international uh, like uh, the EN subdomain. I mean, and if you are using Israel, that means we are working on the main primary domain. So that's how you will be updating the changes. So if you have any problem with that, then definitely you can connect me. I will help you out in that. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you are new on this channel, then please like this video. Also subscribe this channel. Thank you once again. See you in the next video.